a guy injected cocaine into his penis. They had to cut it open. Gynecologists, proctologists, and urologists, what's the most awkward thing that's happened to you with a patient? Patient here, doctor asked my parents to a moment alone with me to tell me the reason my nuts were hurting was me jerking off too much. Spoiler, I was. Now that was awkward. I was getting snipped and they had me on some Valium. Had a great conversation with the doc. We talked about vacations, homebrew, cars, etc. When he was done he said, I've had such a nice chat with you I almost wish you had a third ball. Kinda made me tear up a bit. I'm sad to say this is a true story, but a friend of mine in high school was bragging how he got a doctor's prescription, in reality it was a recommendation, to exclusively use pocket pussies for masturbation. It turned out this was because he was cranking it so much and so hard he was ripping the skin off his own penis as well as giving his glands nerve damage. When we questioned why the hell he was jerking so hard to rip the skin off he shrugged and said, I thought it was normal. My friend has to be a psychopath of some sort. I'm a male nurse. I was working a rehab unit one time and had to give a younger gentleman a suppository due to no bowel movement for four days. I saw him a couple years later in a public place and he shouts out to me, Hey dude remember when your finger was in my butt? Not a doctor but I work with urologists. I found out that there was a doctor's whose nickname was Goldfinger. Apparently he was giving a prostate examination and made the patient orgasm. Awkward for everyone involved. At a gyno appointment Earn Rees 19, I was all situated on the table with my legs up, fully exposed. The doctor was adjusting her wheelie stool, it slipped, she lost her balance and went head first into my spread eagle crotch. Reflexively, I pulled my knees together, essentially putting her in a headlock with my thighs. It all happened in about 3 seconds but felt like an eternity of unending embarrassment and shock. Last time I was at the gyno, my doctor was getting ready to start the exam while her assistant was opening one of the disposable tools. The assistant was having some issues and as soon as I got in the stirrups, the assistant said loudly, man, this one's a stinker. I looked at her with my jaw dropped and it clicked a few seconds later that she was talking about the difficulty of opening the tool, and not my vagina. It was the most fun I've ever had at the lady doctor. Son of a gynecologist, when I was in 8th grade and my folks were out of town, a cute girl from my class came over to hang out. The first thing she sees as she walked in was a family portrait which she looked at and said, Hey, that's my gynecologist. Yikes. Not a gynecologist but went it for an exam and she asked me when I was supposed to start my period. I told her next week as she pulled out her blood covered fingers. Embarrassing. Edit, my highest rated comment is about bleeding on my gynecologist. Mom we made it. Surgical tech, I was in the or prepping the patient for a bladder sling. Patient wasn't all the way under and while I was helping the surgeon, we heard coughing and what sounded like water falling. We turned and every time the patient coughed, urine shot out about 2 feet. We measured it, she had good distance. It wasn't awkward as much as interesting. A female friend of mine told me about a gyno visit she had once. Apparently one of the instruments in the exam room looked like a microphone and she told the doctor so. Later on, the doctor wheels this device up to her vagina and asked her if there was anything she'd like to say. When I was getting the snip, my urologist commented wow, you have amazing anatomy down here for this. Without missing a beat I said well that's one of the oddest compliments a lady has given me, but under the circumstances I'll take it. Thankfully she had a good sense of humor about penis and ball jokes, and said it was rare a patient made her laugh considering she's heard it all. Still, joking with someone who literally has a knife to your balls might not be the greatest idea. The urologist told my wife I had perfect testicles after he finished my vasectomy. She was sitting across the room watching every second of the procedure, while the doctor described each step from numbing, to the incision, then removing the tubes, clamping and then burning and finally sewing it all back up. After he's done he says, well that's about the most perfect set of testicles I've ever worked on. So now I constantly remind her that I have medically perfect balls according to the doctors. One time this guy came in, pretty tall with a high waist and feminine hips. He said he had to pee a lot during the day so obviously we had to check his prostate. Well as I'm going in. He lets out this moan that sounded something like a mix between an orgasm and a ghost escaping his body. 
Anyway I finish up and he yells I'm sorry for some reason. So I just brush it off. Didn't find anything wrong with his prostate, so I call my assistant to come take a blood test from this guy. Batman told me the guy fainted as soon as he drew blood. He was out for like 3 hours too. He finally came around and mumbled something about airplanes. When my wife was giving birth our gyno told her to give a big push. She did and proceeded to pee all over the doctor's face. She was wearing a protective mask for just such an occasion so no harm no foul. Being terrified as I was that my wife was in the process of delivering our firstborn, I helpfully offered up, don't worry, some people pay good money for that. I still hate myself for it. Not in the profession, but a good friend of mine urinated blood and couldn't urinate afterwards. Without so much as a glance, the first doctor told him he had bladder cancer, he was out of town, not seeing his regular doctor. After returning home sometime later, his regular doctor prepped to examine him. Upon lying down on the table, my friend describes it as a reenactment of Old Faithful. It turns out he had a kidney stone that passed to his bladder and was slowly growing over time. Lying down made the stone float, freeing the blockage. A few laser blasts later, and he's back to normal. Not a gyno but my doctor is the same doctor that delivered me and all three of my sisters. On my first visit, as we were having a casual conversation, she stuck a finger in both my vagina and butt at the same time. I've never felt more awkward in my life and to this day, not a single person I have asked has had a similar experience. A friend of mine was having a punch biopsy done during a colposcopy, after her smear test came back positive for precancerous cells. Her boyfriend went with her into the exam room to hold her hand. A camera shows on a screen what's being done. Halfway through her boyfriend passes out and cracks his head on the wall. In nursing school they taught us about how to insert a urinary catheter in men. There's this lidocaine lube that helps make an otherwise uncomfortable procedure considerably less uncomfortable. The catch is that you have to insert a syringe, not a needle, into the tip of the penis and inject lidocaine lube into the urethra and then hold the penis with your thumb over the urethra for 5 minutes. So like just hang out, holding a penis talking about the weather for 5 minutes. I used to date a gynecologist. She told me one time this guy came into the hospital who had inserted an eggplant into his rectum. Apparently he put it in too far, because it slipped past his sphincter and went in fully. He went to the hospital for help, after lots of panicking and trying to get it out himself I'm sure. There the doctors couldn't get it out, but one of them had the bright idea to ask the gynecologists for help because they have this vacuum device which they sometimes use when the baby gets stuck. They carefully put this device on the eggplant via the anus and pulled it out. When the patient left they put a little beanie on the eggplant, laid it in a bed for early borns and snapped a picture while they all stood smiling next to it. I saw the picture and it was quite the funny scene. The eggplant still was in great shape too. It's a very resilient vegetable apparently. Urology nurse here. We had a teenager come in with his mother. We were not a pediatric urology office but saw teens on special occasions with a doctor's okay. A kid was masturbating with a cell phone charger and got it stuck in his bladder. We went in with cystoscopy to take a look and potentially remove it in office with no sedation. We enter his bladder and there is a huge knot in the cord. Kids acting like this is an everyday kind of thing. Mom's just sitting there horrified. Obviously he had to go to the OR due to the giant knot tied in the cord. That was the weirdest. Also diagnosed a 19-year-old with bladder cancer that had smoked since age 12. Don't smoke, kids. Yes. This is going to get buried. But I worked in a urologist's office for a long time. It's pretty wild and I have lots of stories, my poor boyfriend, but here are two of my favorites. Patients have to bring in semen samples post-vasectomy to make sure there was no issue with the procedure so we can declare them sterile. We give them two sterile cups paper bags, and instructions. One patient called it took the just bring it in, hand deliver it. Directions too literally and tried to shove a handful of semen through the office window. I still have so many questions. Teenager comes in, thinks he might be sterile. We tell him to go home and bring us back a sample. He doesn't understand. I explain to him, professionally, that he should ejaculate into the cup we provided. He asks how. I think he's messing with me and just answer masturbation. He asks what that is, and if his mom can help him. I don't know to this day if he was messing with me, but I'm pretty sure I just told him to google it. I actually have one for this. 
I was the patient, during a routine smear the nurse shattered the plastic speculum inside me. The panic on her face when she asked me to lay very still as she picked shards of plastic out my vagina was so uncomfortably hilarious. I remember years ago I was watching a program about weird things doctors have seen. And one doctor said she had a patient come in with complaints of a smelly vagina like bad smell, and the patient was embarrassed, because she discovered the smell in the shower before she was about to do the deed with her new boyfriend. The doctor had a look in there and turns out she had a rotting strawberry in there, from a previous hookup a week prior when they did food play. A strawberry in there for a week. How can you not feel that? Thanks for listening to Radio TTS, hit the subscribe button and activate the notification bell for more videos. Click the right box for the Radio TTS playlist and let us know what the next video should be about.